Favorites. What is my favorite? We're going to play a game. And actually, it's a good game. What is my favorite? It's a good game for nomads to play around the campfire. Um, just if you're a couple, you can play the game. If you meet somebody new, it's a good way to get to know each other. You might even learn something. Right. So let's get to know Lee and Paul. And we're going to get to know you a little bit. Because what I want you to do is you can open up just click that you're going to comment as you watch our video you can just keep answering it and hit return each time so that you can get a long list we'd like to see what your favorites are too you bet this is to get to know you and you get to know us okay so we can get started what do you think let's do it okay <laughs> we were sitting at a restaurant doing this so some of these are going to be okay what is your favorite condiment ranch dressing and you mustard <laughs> i'm really into mustard you know some of these favorite things we know that they kind of change here and there so but for right now mine is mustard what's your favorite color blue purple typing these in what's your favorite food lasagna key lime pie <laughs> <laughs> I think I've been hungry for key lime pie. I think it's good stuff. I know. I don't know where we'd find any up here, though. Oh, I know exactly where. Oh. Uh, Edwards, they come in two packs, key lime pie. I oh, show Walmart. Them okay. Oh, yeah. Well, they All sell right. them at the grocery store, too. Okay. Your favorite season, Paul? Well, that's tough. Yeah. Uh, my answer would never have been winter because I don't do winter sports and so forth and so on. I went with summer. I know fall is nice, springtime and the blossoming, everything <sighs> coming to life is nice, but I went with summer. Yeah, mine is autumn. It used to be summer, but I hate summer now. <laughs> <laughs> Running from the, from the heat, trying to find shade, oy vey. Um, Pepsi or Coca-Cola? Pepsi. Coca-Cola. <laughs> What's your favorite state? Arizona. Believe it or not, mine is California. And why? Because of the beach. They got the beach. This girl loves the beach. What's your favorite sleeping position? Right side. Mine is too. Fries or onion rings? Fries. Fries. What do you guys say? Apple or Android? Apple. Apple. You know, I started with that, with Apple, and I don't even want to think about changing anymore. Yeah. I had an Android once. I didn't understand it very well. Um, your favorite fruit? Uh, blueberries. Uh, watermelon. I could eat watermelon if I if I knew it was going to be good watermelon. And I, but, you know, watermelon is really difficult for a nomad. I mean, I just don't have the room for a nomad, for a watermelon. It's pretty tough. I can't eat the whole thing yeah. and just cut it. You know it just get, drips all <laughs> over. Um, favorite veggie? Oh, what did I say? I forget. Corn on the cob, you oh, said. Oh, if it's in season. Yes. If it's been sitting around for a month, I don't want to talk about it. But yeah. if you can get it fresh from a farm, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I love it. Broccoli for me. Steamed broccoli, not raw broccoli. Yeah. Broccoli would have been my second choice. Right. Yeah. What's your favorite movie? Uh, <laughs> the big, ch I couldn't think of the name. She had to help me. Yeah, the I know big, movies. The Big Chill. Yeah. Mine is Shadowlands. I wonder how many of you have ever seen that. I think I probably should buy it or rent it or something. I have not seen it. Yeah. I'd like to. What's your favorite song? Uh, uh, oh, A New York Minute by the Eagles. Oh, you said something different before, but that's okay. Mine has always been, it's, it's, I don't know if it's my favorite song, but I find it to be the perfect song, and which doesn't make sense. It might not be the best song, 
the best composition. But it's like this perfect song to me. I never grow tired of it. Everybody Wants to Rule the World by Tears for Fears. Okay. I could listen to it over and over. I love the drums. I love the, the guitar riff. I love, it's just, I don't know. It sends me, it sends electricity through me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, your favorite highway. I think it's high. looking at the answers down here. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm being reminded. Yeah. Uh, I think it's 89A, and that goes from I-17, just south of Flagstaff, Arizona, down to Sedona. It's beautiful. You're going down, down, down through the Oak Creek Canyon, and it's just a beautiful little trip. Mm. It's not very far, but it's beautiful. Yeah. Well, mine is I-10. It, it might not be the most beautiful, but it always takes me back home. That's why I like it. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite nation other than the United States? Well, and I, I chose this answer because it's where I've spent more time than any other nation, I believe, and that is Mexico. Hmm. Mine is Switzerland. They're neutral. <laughs> <laughs> And it's a beautiful country. That's right. Yeah. Yes. So what do you got? Are you keeping score, everybody? Let's keep score. Get to, if you haven't already, get that comment thing out and start typing. Uh, your favorite band is? The Eagles. Hmm. Mine, I know some of you are going to laugh, but I just love them. The Bee Gees. <laughs> they have reinvented themselves decade after decade after decade of course you know there's only one left there's only barry left but if you consider a lot of bands after a decade they 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 fade out or yeah. they become unpopular the Bee Gees have always had to reinvent themselves and they've been singing since they were children so i just find them to be i, I really like the Bee Gees. and didn't you tell me that you read that there was a, a reason uh, for their success, perhaps, because they were following another very successful group, right? Well, they, wa they were jealous of the Beatles. Okay. Yeah, sometimes jealousy can move people on. Sometimes it does me too. It's like, well, you know, hey, I want to do that, and I'm going to do that. Yeah. And uh, it can kind of move you on to improve. That's They wanted what the Beatles had, and they ended up meeting them, and they got exactly that yeah yeah um your favorite male voice that's a that's tough i know and, and when i gave my answer lee kind of went really only because <laughs> i'm really not a fan of his but he's got a good voice yeah. i guess no i one of my favorites is billy joel okay josh groban i like his uh, voice. He, so. he, he makes beautiful music, that's for sure. We both agreed on the female voice. Celine Dion. Oh yeah, she's my favorite voice. She has a range that, yeah. oh my goodness, it's, uh, I had a Christmas album uh, of hers, and what was it? Oh Holy Night, I think. Oh, that's oh, yeah. my oh, goodness, my it's yeah. amazing. Oh Holy Night. <laughs> The stars are shining bright. <laughs> I got her going. Do, 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 do. Oh. Okay. Your favorite dessert. Ooh, now we get back to food. Woo, woo. Well, I'm pretty basic. You Hi. give me a vanilla ice cream sundae with caramel oh. topping and loaded with uh, some kind of peanuts. I'm not fussy. And that is my favorite. Wow. I'm into flan. That's it's very okay because actually my favorite is egg custard but in in uh, mexico it's a mexican dish flan and they have caramel in it i actually like um just custard you know yeah. vanilla custard yeah i yeah. love the texture oh yes and before meeting lee i don't recall ever having had flan but i loved it too because of the mm -hmm. caramel i'm I a caramel know. guy yeah. yeah i loved it your favorite pizza topping that's tough. Get writing, everybody. I know you guys are getting into this. Let's get to know each other. Yeah, it, mine is pepperoni. I mean, I just don't think a pizza is a pizza yeah, without I pepperoni. Know. 
but I like a lot of other things in addition to the pepperoni. Yeah, but I can just handle cheese and pepperoni pizza. Well, I can too. That's that, that would do it fine. We need to make those one pizzas. We'll have to find that video and feature it where we made pizzas. Remember those? Those were very good. We should probably do that again. Do you what guys want us to do that again? We'll show you how to do nomad pizzas. They were so good. As long as I get to eat what is left over, oh, that yeah. would be just fine Very with good. me. So what's your favorite cheese, Pa? Swiss, the one with holes in it. Okay. <laughs> you know, I like blue cheese, but you can't eat too much of it. I, you know, so mine is extra sharp cheddar. I like it really bitey. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite car? Vehicle. Well, I, obviously it would be a, a, a van preferably a high top van something like what we're sitting in right yeah, now perhaps right. yeah how about you a suburban i kind of still would wouldn't mind having the suburban that would yeah. be a, a big upgrade from a, a as far as size goes mm -hmm. from, from a minivan well right? you know i don't know the inside the size i don't know i think maybe a little bit i'm guessing only a little bit more but i like the height of it the height okay. and um, that it'd be a little bit more off-road uh, yeah yeah what's your favorite person that you admire or an a past person that you admire you know you I gave a lot of thought to this I yeah. thought and oh, thought did you and thought come up and with one? I did oh his name is Jesus Christ well me too that was my answer <laughs> all right <laughs> No, but it, you did I put we, too much thought in it, share. and uh, yeah. the answer was right there all right. the time. Right. What's your favorite phone app? Oh, I don't think, especially as a nomad, you can imagine, Google Maps is indispensable as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. If we're looking for a restaurant, if we're looking for... How do I get to Walla Walla, Washington? I right. mean, we use that constantly, and then we share because we drive separately. We share the directions for a given location, mm -hmm. and then if one of us gets separated by a red light or something, then they still have the directions and can follow along. So it, it works great. Yeah. And you? Yeah. Well, it's one of my, yeah, it's probably the most used. Um, but I, I put down Signal. I appreciate Signal because we can leave um, voice, uh, audio voices, messages for each other. And, um, of course, we listen to each other's messages in real time. You know, like as soon as we get it, we listen to it. It's like, what do you, what do you, are you asking me something important? But we can also leave messages. But when it's involved, we can leave um, audios. And right. then, and... Um, of my other friends, we can leave audios and we listen to it when we're ready to listen to it. We don't have to do it right away. I know some people want sometimes like to call or they want to call me. Some of my friends, I'm like, Man, I don't know why I'm not into the phone, everybody, that much. I'm not leave either. Me, leave me in. Really, I don't know why, but leave me. Probably because I'm busy doing something and I, can't, I can listen when I'm ready. And then I can leave you a message and listen when I'm ready. You know, I'm not thinking about something. So, what is your favorite hobby? Boy, I, yeah. I'm just not much of a hobbyist. Um, did I have an answer for that? Yes, it was investing, learning about investing. Well, I and, do enjoy that. And yeah. the well, times we're in right now are very interesting uh, as far as whether to invest or not to invest. Do you mm -hmm. trust your bank or don't you trust your yeah. bank? It's it's uh, an interesting time mine was i like to research things and you know i like to get online and kind of get in there and discover things and do some research so i can really get in depth on what's going on with a certain subject yeah i can't begin to tell you how many times we'll we'll have a discussion of some kind and one of us will say well i wonder why that is or i wonder who that is or what that is and She's on it. She's on the, the phone uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, using whichever uh, app that she's going to use. And she gets the answer invariably in just a, a minute or two. Well, I usually just go on a browser. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah. I know sometimes you'll say, well, you don't have to look it up now. And I look at him like, of course I do. Because I'll forget about it later. And I want to know. I want to know things I want to know. And you want to know. I just want to know. Want to know now. That's right. Yeah. What's your favorite sport? Well, American. And write down your favorite sport, too, mm -hmm. in the comments. What Amer is it? American football. Okay. I love professional baseball, too. I, well, I love everything from uh, t-ball all the way through the uh, World Series and professional baseball. But mm -hmm. American football is the one that I would normally sit down and spend three hours watching a game. Uh, so that's mine. Yeah. Not much of a sports fan. Um, mine was always ice skating. Um, keeping track of who the, who the latest ice skaters, the champions were. Your favorite instrument, musical instrument. Well, I'm lacking in, in that regard because I don't play any musical instrument, but my favorite is the guitar. Okay. Piano. Yeah. Okay. The best paid entertainment you have ever seen. You had to pay for the entertainment and it was the best you've ever seen. Most famous. You know, I didn't have an answer. You and didn't. I'm, I'm, you still don't? I'm... I've got it. What? I saw uh, Fleetwood Mac in person. Oh, yeah. What a show. Yeah, I mean, I it's just fantastic. Great voices. The the drummer, I can't tell you his name, but... Mac Fleetwood. Okay. <laughs> the band's <laughs> named after him. Oh, you could tell. He was just having an oh, yeah. absolute ball. The look on his face as he was... Uh, uh, playing was just fantastic. It's not Mick Mac. It's Mick Fleetwood. Mick okay. Fleetwood. Okay. <sighs> or is it Mac? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. People, I'm gonna get. I know this sounds really silly, and I couldn't remember myself. Like what? Um, but I do remember. This sounds probably silly. I remember when Independence Day, the movie, came out. I was so excited. I heard about it's coming out. Oh my God! July Fourth. And uh, I had a real, I had a regular entourage that followed me into, um, <laughs> the, we all had a ball watching that movie for the first time. It, it was like, oh my gosh, you know, when all the buildings, you know, caught on fire. And then we ended up, we were, we were all sitting right behind uh, the mayor of Tucson at the time. He was a pretty cool mayor. And it was just, I don't know. It was a fun time. I don't remember that. Was, was there a great build up to that movie? Oh or? yeah, it was. Well, yeah, I love I love disaster movies. Okay. The build up, you get to know the characters and then this big thing happens and it all you know, blows up like remember Towering Inferno that movie? Oh, yeah. Towering Inferno just um Earthquake. Remember the one it was Earthquake. I think Charleston Heston was in that one earthquake yeah all the disaster movies um the day after tomorrow and you know i think there's one called the day after also where the um nuclear bomb went oh off. yeah yeah, but yeah the day after tomorrow is when everything went frozen <laughs> i think yeah okay yeah. well let's move on okay your favorite teacher that changed your life you guys think about this who was the teacher that changed your life? There's no question. And Clay, if I can't believe you'd be watching Minnie Van Lee on YouTube, Maybe. but you never know. Yeah. And his name is Clay Huffnagel. And he, <laughs> is he still alive? Yes, he is. Oh, yes, I he agree. is. Yeah. Uh, okay. He cared. Okay. Mine was Mrs. Long, third grade. And the reason for me is she, she, she let me know that I was a leader. She, she would pick students who were good at what they were doing and she would pair them off and we'd set, put our chairs beside them and we'd help them. So we, we actually got to learn more because if you ever need to learn something, teach it to somebody else. There you you will, yeah. it, it, it gets in your head. She taught me and I was always one of the leaders because I was really good with math. Cool. Yeah, and so we, I would teach other kids how to do math. Go figure. Yeah. Um, okay. Who was your favorite aunt or uncle? And I know, you, yeah, like you don't know these people, but you think about this. Who was your favorite aunt? 
or uncle? Well, mine uh, was a favorite aunt, and that was Aunt Mary, my mother's sister. Uh, aunt Mary was uh, a card. Let me put okay. it that way. She was a hoot. I she was a hoot. hoot. And Aunt Mary uh, uh, was just a, a dear heart, and I loved her tremendously. Mine, go figure, was Uncle Lee. I was named after him. Makes sense. Gee, I wonder why he was so yeah. he was He was a hoot. Actually, my Aunt Barb was a hoot, but Uncle Lee, he was... He, he made me laugh. My mom would roll her, her eyes at him, but he was my dad's brother. Okay, um, your uh, closest call. Closest call. Well, I assumed that that meant to an accident of some kind. Yeah. Well, one time way back when I was a freshman in college, I had to drive from uh, home, which was the east side of Detroit, to Ann Arbor. I didn't go to the University of Michigan. I went to Concordia uh, College. But a friend of mine, Ron Eichinger, hey Ike, how you doing? You'll remember this very clearly, I'm sure. I was driving my little Volkswagen. Can't remember the year for sure. But anyway, it started to freezing rain and the temperature was dropping. And about halfway between Detroit and Ann Arbor, the bridge was frozen solid, and I did not one, but two 360s wow. going across a bridge <laughs> with, with my best friend in a little Volkswagen. And somehow, when we hit the pavement again, got across the bridge, we were pointed straight ahead. So we wow. didn't flip, we didn't roll, we didn't do anything. So wow. that that was uh, I I was yeah. uh, and I'm sure Ike was too. He was, we were both saying our counting our blessings on wow. that. Wow, yeah. My closest call. I won't go into too much detail, but somebody that I worked with in the trades. I was in the trades for about ten years, and I worked with him. And he stopped over one night, one to take. Um, I didn't really want to go, but I thought, well, all right, you know, you got a new car. And he drove me way out in the middle of nowhere. I knew, I knew, I knew what he'd take me out there for. He was going to rape me. I knew that. I knew. Mm. When it was over, I when I got home, I thought he could have killed me. My kids never, because no, they weren't home. I didn't leave a note. I could have died. <laughs> they would have never known yeah. what happened to me. Yeah. But I knew that's what he was, what he was going to do. And I was so nervous. Like the Holy Spirit told me that. But he, he kept me okay. I just kept my cool. And I go, well, we need to go, you know. And uh, he, I think some. God somehow said, don't you dare. And I never, ever talked to this person again. Wow. So that was my closest call, I think. Yeah, I mean, things can happen. I wasn't a young teenager either. I mean, yeah. I was in my 40s. I was around 45. Yeah. Very scary stuff. It is. So the best advice you've ever been given? Never give up. Oh, I like that. Mine is create your own future. You've heard that before, huh? Yeah. Now, the next ones we've got, this, we're not going to give our answers, but it's going to like, help you think. And these are some really good questions. If you had one hour to live, how would you spend it? Just think about that, yeah. Another one, what is your perfect day? What would you do? Where would you go? And with whom? Mm -hmm. These are good, uh, provoking questions that really sure. would reveal a lot about yourself. And if you ask them, you could write these down. And if you ask them to somebody else, it would be, it would reveal a lot, I believe, about this person. And what is your greatest skill? Hmm. Hmm. And what time in your life was that you laughed the hardest? And I do remember a time when I actually did that. <laughs> I just couldn't stop laughing. Mm. It almost hurt. It, yeah. So these are questions to get to know other people. And I hope maybe with these answers, you get to know Paul and I. And that and this is a great game to play around campfire with couples. You yeah, get to know be. people and you could ask them. Even if you're not playing the game, you could keep in mind these questions and say, What's your favorite color? Because when you ask questions about other people and you let them talk, 
it just it shows that you um you think highly of that person and, and you care about that person right right yeah 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 everyone likes to talk about themselves a little bit once yeah. you once you get them talking yeah and uh i think people really appreciate that right it's good to be a good listener yeah the art of listening mm -hmm. well i hope you enjoyed this i hope this was fun for you just something a little bit different and it is a nomad activity because we got to get to know each other very quickly in the nomad world well i know she and i got to know each other a little better in going through those questions yes. so it was good i know so we we love you guys please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and go into minivanlee.com. A lot of you are going. I've just noticed. I look. A lot of hits going. People going in. Very good. Van Lee. So, good. yeah. We love you till tomorrow. Now, tomorrow, check out. We're going to, I'm going to do a DIY bin decoration. Whoa. Color your bins. All right. Color my world. Bye, you guys. Bye bye.